on the BBC iPlayer app. It's all free. And the show will live up there or go to the Radio 2 website. Craig Charles is up next. I'm going to try it. Follows with dance devotion. Have a great night. What's left of it? The Rhythm Nation is a something of production. The BBC Radio 2, online, on digital radio, and on 88 to 91 FM. The news is next. Just about over the great music of Jaru. Is it not already there? That's it, fellows. The house lights have gone up. Amada's party's just about over. The great music continues. It's all on tonic. Throw some shapes and dance devotion next. And while you're grooving through the night to honor, don't forget you'll be able to download this show very shortly and take the party in your pocket to listen to wherever and whenever you like for the next 30 days. This is the great Charles House Party. Say go on, Scarpa. This is BBC Radio 2 online on digital radio on an 88 to 91 FM. This is Billy Something Else production for BBC Radio 2. Thank you very much to Louise and Hannah for being spectacular. A new lot. Mm. Fabulous lot, you. All your texts, all your tweets, we absolutely love them. We love that we're this little night gang together. Thanks so much. Should we do it again tomorrow from 10? Go on. Go on, go on, go on. Uh, right, BBC Radio 2 online on digital radio and on 88 and 91 FM. See you tomorrow night with the news now at midnight. James Kelly. BBC News. The Pritchett has expressed his again tomorrow from 10. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Uh, right, BBC Radio 2 online on digital radio. Monday, it's at 91 FM. See you tomorrow night for the news now at midnight. James Kelly. BBC News. Sir Cliff Pritchett has expressed his relief after winning his privacy case against the BBC over its coverage of a police search of his home four years ago. A High Court judge said the corporation had infringed the singer's rights in a serious and sensationalist way. Sir Cliff has been awarded damages of more than £200,000. The BBC said journalists had acted in good faith and it's considering appealing. Charlotte Harris, who's a media lawyer, explains the impact of the case. This judgment has underlined the rights of individuals and suspects, regardless of how high profile or not they are, in terms of um, their, any criminal investigation. And it's made clear that um, there is um, a reasonable expectation of privacy for individuals. President Trump has again reiterated that Russia did interfere in the 2016 US election. He's faced strong criticism for not condemning Moscow when he met Vladimir Putin earlier this week. In an interview with CBS News, Mr. Trump was asked if he held the Russian leader personally responsible. Well, I would because he's in charge of the country, just like I consider myself to be responsible for things that happen in this country. So certainly as the leader of a country, you would have to hold him responsible, yes. The former Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson has used his resignation speech in the Commons to say it's not too late to save Brexit. He also accused Theresa May of dithering. Mr Johnson.
see what I think. See you guys next week. Here's the something else production. Thanks, Lolly. Thanks to Sirens. Helping out and getting all the Love Island questions right. The BBC Radio 2 online. On digital radio and on 88 to 91 FM. See you guys next week. Firefighters have died in California battling wildfires. More than 130 fires are affecting the U.S. and Canada, from Alaska to Texas. Tens of thousands of people have fled their homes, and at least 17 people are missing. Julia Yarbo, a reporter from the local news channel Action News Now, says the conditions are... Friday. I'm so excited about that. I love it. No, no. No, I get ecstatic about all the Chris Friday. We should do that starting at 5 o'clock tomorrow, 5 through till 7. Sounds good to me. This is BBC Radio 2 online, on digital, and on 88 to 91 FM.